The film begins in 1938 with a large ship named Queen Mary in the middle of the sea and we are shown the bad circumstances of the Queen Mary ship from the inside. There were dead bodies everywhere and all were soaked in blood and someone has ended everyone brutally. Meanwhile, the shop's guard comes to find a lady, but the guard gets scared as the lady comes in front of him and falls down while shouting because the appearance of the lady was also ruined. Her face was damaged. Someone has ended her badly and she dies the next moment. She fell there because someone stabbed her belly with an ax. She was soaked in blood. Now, it turns out that none but that lady's husband, named David, has ended everyone. David was caught after being found cruel. Later, he was locked in a room, but David's daughter releases him. Now, because he was already furious, so after being released, he ends many other people. After this painful incident, the Queen Mary ship was called Haunted because the people who travel on Queen Mary see the souls of the dead. This caused defamation of the company and the ship and the ship's reputation deteriorated. Everyone remembers this ship as evil. Similarly, many years passed and the Queen Mary ship was closed. It is simply standing and people come to see it, much like we go to museums to see such things. Now a girl named Anne comes to see this ship along with her son because she wants to give Queen Mary its previous status while mending its reputation. She is working on a project for this in which she will repair this ship and will make it like before. With this, the ship will become this able that the people will visit it again. Anne's husband was also with her and the couple loves their son a lot. Now because Anne has a meeting with the ship's captain, so her husband takes his son to visit the ship. When they reach the bottom of the ship, Anne's son separates from his dad because they have moved ahead, and Anne's son calls his dad everywhere. There was none except for him, and then suddenly, the lift in front of him opens automatically and a card falls in the lift. Anne's son comes inside the lift to pick it up and sees, this is a fortune card through which humans are told their fate. What will happen to them in the future? Before he exits while taking the card, the door shuts. Then he comes to the basement through the lift and sees the soul of David's daughter. He was hiding at a place that means the girl who released her father, David. Then later, her dad ended many other people. But when Anne's son turns, there wasn't her soul. Anne's son keeps on moving ahead because he was clicking the pictures of everything and while walking, he reaches a pool, but unaware that a man's shadow was chasing him soon, he realizes that someone is behind him, so he immediately turns and clicks its picture. Before the shadow attacks him suddenly, the soul of David's daughter pushes him down. Now because of the camera in Anne's sun neck, he hangs before falling into the pool and the shadow again moves ahead to attack, but David's daughter's soul pulls Anne's son into the water. His camera was hung there, the ship's captain sees a small ship moving itself when he was with Anne. Seeing this, he gets shocked because he understands that there is something wrong. He feels that there is something wrong in the basement, so he moves there and he saves Anne's son when he saw him drowning in the pool. But Anne's son was traumatized after this incident. The ship's captain tells Anne that her project is approved and now she can work here every weekend along with her husband. After the completion of your work, this ship will get its old reputation. The story shifts to the past in 1938. When the incident of Queen Mary's ship happened, we see David along with his wife and daughter on the ship. David is shown wearing a mask on his face because he was an army officer before, and his face ruined in a war, and his face wasn't able to see, so he was compelled to put on a mask. David wanted to go in the first class of the ship, where only huge businessmen and rich were given place. But David and his family were not included in them, so they were not allowed to go in the first class. Meanwhile, David finds out that a couple of the first class didn't come on the ship, so David moves to the first class on their behalf, along with his wife and daughter. Now they sit on the table, 
and they were enjoying the environment here. Everything was good, and it finds out that David's wife tells fate of the people while seeing fortune cards. The couple on whose behalf David came here with his family came when they were enjoying when the ship's group find it out. First, they become furious at David and then asks him to leave, but he clearly refuses to leave. The ship's group takes him out forcefully, but during this, his mask fell off and the people sitting there see David's face. It was in a bad condition, so everyone gets scared. He feels bad and embarrassed, so he comes out while taking his wife. David was worried, so comes to the pool in the basement while walking. Meanwhile, the ship's captain asks to drive the ship speedily. When they do this, the pressure of the ship increases due to which an engine bursts and the walls of a room fell. That room was warm. After a while, David returns to his room. His wife was worried and says our daughter is missing. We should find her as soon as possible, but David didn't respond to her and he was changed. Surprisingly, there was an ax in his hand there was blood on it, he went to the washroom and his wife suspects him. She moves ahead slowly with a knife, but before she could do anything, David suddenly comes out with the ax and hits his wife's head. This makes her injured. She moves aside but collapses with the wall and gets injured badly. Hearing the noise, the people of their surroundings come to their room, but insane, David doesn't spare them and ends everyone while attacking with the ax. He smacks someone in the head, breaks someone's arm, and stabs someone. The ship's captain was alone, meanwhile. His companion comes and says, David has ended many people that too, brutally, but now he is captured, and this doesn't make any difference to captain, because right now his thoughts were something else. The ship's engine had stopped, due to which it wasn't working, and the waiter was filling inside. Here, the captain tells his companion when the company was making it, they invested all its money on this ship, they became poor. That's why the company wanted this ship to work for a long time, because obviously a lot of money and hard work were invested on it. For this, the company took Black Magic's support and imprisoned a dangerous man in that warm room. But now, because the walls of that room have broken, so that man's soul has also been freed from there. Now we have to stop that soul on this ship. Actually, the captain discovers that the soul is now inside David after being released. It wants to go out of this shop while using David's body, wants to be free, so now the captain will not let David leave the ship at any cost, because if that soul leaves this ship, then it is confirmed that this ship will be drowned because the black magic was used to imprison the soul there, and the ship was working for years till today because of the imprisoned soul. But if the soul will release today, it will be bad. David is shown who successfully escapes from the ship, and now he wants to move ahead through a small boat, but right now he was with the ship. Meanwhile, the captain comes here with a gun and wants to shoot David but his companion forbids him to do this. But being furious, he shoots him and also shoots at David. Due to it, the soul and David couldn't escape and the engine starts working again. The lights were also turned on. The captain was happy with this, but sad as well that he ended his two companions. He was embarrassed, so he locks himself at a place and ends himself while punishing himself. After it, the story shifts to the present, when Anne and her husband come to the ship at the weekend, but the captain says a strange thing. I will not let you work because you didn't bring your son today. Hearing this, Anne and her husband beg the captain to let them work and says we were compelled not to bring him. Hearing this, the captain agrees. Anne and her husband go to their room there was a bandagee on Anne's hand. When she came into the washroom as she removes the bandage, there was a wound mark, and her hand was swelled, actually. The last time she went home with her son, her son was changed completely. One day, 
Anne saw her son hanging outside the window and finds this strange and asks him to come inside because it was raining heavily outside. Her son says, no, I will not come inside. And if you want to call me inside, there is a condition. I will never go back in that ship because there were a lot of scary souls who were frightening me and they also try to end me. I feel afraid of them, so I will not go there. Meanwhile, Anne moves her hand ahead and was making him understand and was moving towards the window slowly when she moves her hand out of the window suddenly, the window closes and her hand gets in it, which makes her injured. She starts screaming because of pain. She gets scared while remembering all this. At night, she was sleeping in her room and hears scary, strange voices. Meanwhile, a scary hand comes out of her mobile screen while breaking it. Anne wakes up because of the scary voices and when she checks her mobile, the screen was broken suddenly. A scary hand comes out and strangles her. The hand wasn't leaving her neck. That's why Anne stabs a pen in the hand to escape. But that hand disappears immediately and the pen hits her injured hand. This worsens her hand's injury first. She was scared and was also in pain. She moves aside being panicked. As she turns, there were piles of dead bodies, which makes her even more scared and calls for help. Meanwhile, her husband comes inside and gets scared to see such condition of Anne. Now, he takes her outside near the counter as they were in the ship and bandages Anne's hand. Here, she tells when our son was hanging in the window, there wasn't his soul in him. I saw an evil soul in him. And that soul was none other than of David's daughter. When she saved our son while pulling him inside the pool, her soul moved in him while the soul of our son left there. That means their son's soul is still on this ship. They have come inside the ship to find their son's soul. The ship's captain, who was spying on them for a long time, suspects them, so he moves behind them with his gun. They were going to the basement near the pool. They find their son's camera with which he took that shadow's picture they take out the camera reel. As they know there will be important pictures in it, along with it, Anne's husband starts scanning the ship. During this, he sees a chamber, means the room, where that man's dead body was buried to be used in the black magic. Seeing this, they understand that someone is definitely killed here. They were standing near the pool, and Anne sees blood in the pool. She panics, and then they see their son's soul they start chasing him, and before they could capture him while moving ahead, the captain comes and says, stop, don't move ahead. The ship's captain knows everything about this ship. He also knows that there is David's daughter's soul in their son. That's why the captain called them in the ship with their son, so that the captain again will take out the soul of David's daughter from their so and imprison her here again. They didn't bring their son here even. The captain asks them for this. The captain again says, if you bring your son, I will take out the soul from him and will imprison that soul in this ship and will return your son's soul that is stuck here. But Anne's husband clearly refused. Later, he shows the reel of his son's camera and says, I will show the videos and pictures to the world and will expose the ship's truth to the world. Hearing this, the captain becomes furious and starts firing at him, but he somehow runs from there and escapes. On the other hand, Anne, who was looking for her son's soul, David, his wife, and her son's soul, come and stand in front of her. Her son says, Mom, I want you to stay with us on this ship, but she refuses. Later, it turns out that if a soul wants to exit this ship, he or she will need a body and that soul can exit this place while occupying that body, like that man's soul used David's body to escape. The next morning, Anne and her husband are shown happy, and their behavior was also changed, actually. They crack a deal with David and his wife, according to it. There is David, and his wife's souls are in their bodies. They exit the ship while using their bodies, while the souls of Anne and her husband 
are in the ship along with their son. Anne and her husband, who were actually David and his wife, throw the camera reel in the dustbin before leaving the ship. But as they come out, the police come in front and they were arrested because they were accused of ending their own son. When their son was hanging outside the window, Anne discovered that there is a soul in her son's body, means she understood that wasn't her son, and at the same time, her son's foot slipped and he was about to fell. Here, Anne could save her son, but she didn't, and one of their neighbors saw this and informed police about this because their son died of falling down, so the police arrest them on the accuse of ending their son. Here, there was a devilish smile on their faces. They were happy that none ever knew the ship's truth. The people continued to come and visit the ship like before and enjoyed it a lot. They don't know that Anne, her husband, and their son's souls are still present there together, and they will always stay there until they find a body to exit. Here concludes this story.